In this Remembrance Week, it is another of Britain's wars receding into memory. Yet 38 years after the Falklands conflict, a final act of liberation is only now taking place. The last of 25,000 mines has today been cleared, leaving islanders free to roam their beaches and moors in safety. It's incredible. Uh, it's very hard actually to express just how much it means to us. You know, our islands are, are fully returned to us, if you like, is incredibly special. Leona was a 10-year-old girl at the time of the war. There was fighting on the mountains around Stanley every night. You could see it, you could hear it. Um, and that was, that was extremely frightening. In defeat, Argentinian forces left behind mountains of munitions. Early attempts to clear mines hidden in shifting sands and peat had to be abandoned after several British soldiers were badly injured. Decades on and that painstaking work has been completed by a team of experts from Zimbabwe. Tom Herring, a Falklands veteran, says he feels relief. No islander will ever again face the dangers he and his comrades faced. It's just frightening because you, it is dark, you can't see, you know someone's injured, you know they're in a minefield, you can't go hell for leather to get to them. It's the cries of pain and help that um, are probably remembered most. The last detonation has been celebrated in a ceremony today. It marks the moment Britain finally complies with an international treaty to clear mines in all the territory it controls. And although Argentina has never withdrawn its claims of sovereignty for Falkland Islanders, it means they no longer live in a war zone. John Ray, ITV News.